Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> Dude. I think we did that thing where we were awesome and everyone loved us. Man, yeah, we went two hours. Well met. <laughs> Almost two hours, yeah. Wow, that was crazy. Oh, shit, wait, hold on. I have, I have a couple. Uh, this is great because it's going to come out of nowhere. No one's going to expect it. What's up? Your business. <laughs> is that the mysterious stranger or something? Hey, Brian. What? Stop asking questions. Mm. Mm. What is wrong with your face? <laughs> ah. Oh, dude, dude I, here, here's here's what here's what I think about like how good our show was. I'm just like rolling the dice. Yep. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm gonna grab more beers. Uh, maybe more beer, just one. Uh, uh, yeah, no. Uh, Jerry Stone is my Twitch name. Um, uh, playing Hearthstone is my Twitch game, <laughs> and uh, I will continue to do it. We're we're actually trying to work out here in uh here in Jury Moore Studios exactly when our sketch is going to be. But the good news is, because I ain't got no job, uh my stream will be very East Coast friendly. So uh if you are East Coast, good news, you won't have to stay up until one o'clock in the morning to watch me. Yeah. So, buh, 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 buh. oh, also, oh, god damn it! Can we add this thing to the end of the episode? Uh, I yes, I just have to remind me to remind Cheeto to do that. Uh, just, just uh, take it now. Take it, take it now. Okay, Justin, uh, Brian, Hi, friends. Ross. My name is Justin Robert Young. If you are hanging out on Thanksgiving and you hate your family and you're like, Dad, you're an asshole and you've treated my mom like shit for years, guess what? There's a way you can spend that time without looking at your stupid familial relations. Yes, hang out with us, me and my wife, Ashley Paramore. We're going to be on her Twitch stream at, or sorry, twitch.tv slash fake gamer girl. We're going to be cooking for eight hours on Thanksgiving. Ashley, when are we starting? Twitch giving. When does uh, Twitch giving start? Ashley? She's not listening. Anyway. When does Twitch giving start? 10 a.m. Pacific. That is 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we're going to cook. We're going to have a great time. We're going to hang out for eight goddamn hours live on Twitch. It's the best time you'll ever have, including that one time that your grandma farted in the pudding. Be there or be dead. Of a disease that you'll catch by not watching. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll make sure Cheeto, you fuckers in the chat room. Uh, uh, it's Tito, why is it Tito? They misheard me. Oh, wow! Give me uh, shit. Yeah, no, it's gonna be vegan. But here's all right. Fun story. Uh, because I know there's a lot of like, you know, food commandos out there who are like, hey, oh, vegan, oh, fuck vegan. Oh, I like meat. Oh, I like to put two steaks on my shoulders and a steak here. And I like to rub them and I like to rub all three together, which I only have two hands. So it's kind of weird. And I got to kind of reach around at the same time. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Man, I love meat too. I love to eat meat. When I'm in uh, when I'm in Austin, I stop at barbecue places. I eat so much meat, you would be embarrassed by it. But anything that is cooked on this stream, you're gonna want to eat. Want to know why? Because we don't cook shit in this house. We don't cook bland, cardboard nonsense. I will stand by every dish that we cook unless I eat it on the stream and I'm like, this tastes like shit. I will tell you it tastes like shit if it tastes like shit. Uh, not everything has to have meat, you know, and so you can cook fun stuff without it. And what I found from eating a lot of, uh, vegan stuff is that I wasn't really into heavy creams. Maybe you're not either. And maybe you've been forced into a heavy cream lifestyle. By the heavy cream lobby. Too. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, Brian, have you noticed, like, like now that you've ate, uh, you know, a, 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 a non-mainstream diet, that, like, you know, it's kind of weird, the food politics that people have? Oh, shit, yeah. No, and uh, there's nothing, in my opinion, real great about, you know, what they call the SAD, the standard American diet. And uh, I could say that having ventured outside the boundaries of it and having gone back. And, look, if you're somebody who loves your burgers and fries, I ain't I ain't fat shaming you. You know, it's like, I, I you know, eat whatever you want. I ain't, I ain't cow shaming you. I'm just saying, I'm just saying of all the people, I never thought, you know, Having gone into the wilderness, I could say that there's some rad shit out there, and it's it's not all it doesn't all have to be Lucky Charms. I mean, like, I, it, like what, what what's weird to me is that like there just is this like oh I don't know like if I mention like hey Ash cooks vegan shit online, it's like oh wait, it's one of a a, a, a kajillion points of light online for which you can find on your web browser. That's crazy. I think, <coughs> like, when people are like, like, oh, like, I think that, like, that's fucked up. I like steaks. <laughs> like, it's just so weird that that's the first reaction. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're so defensive. Like, your diet is going to do anything to them. You know? Well, and also it's like, and really what I've always said, and, and she, uh, Ashley's doing all this shit on YouTube uh, about, like, the whole spice vegan thing is, like, either her Twitch stream or that YouTube content is, like, you can spice anything better than you do right now. Mm -hmm. And one thing about vegan cooking that you oh, will do, know. Wait, wait, well, hold, hold on. I, I I was confused why this whole talk was happening. Like, like, do you do you encounter a lot of, like, vegan trolls or whatever? Like, people show up and they're like, boo, where's the cow? Oh, it. Ashley can't, can't mention anything, vegan anything, without the first response being, fuck vegans, I love meat, with nine E's. What, what is it that makes people feel so threatened with that, with it, that they have to lash out against that? Um, there, was, uh, there was recently, in the wake of the horrific uh, murders in Paris, uh, there was this, uh, uh, this, these, this group of... <laughs> Wait, wait a short circuit. Anybody who wants to come back on you. If you if you just put as your prefix to your argument. Well, I mean, like in wake of the horrific murders in Paris, uh, I believe that Back to the Future 2 is the best Back to the Future. <laughs> it's like, come at me. Come at me, bro. The government says Back to the Future 3 is better because it has a consistent plot and takes place in a single locale. I say the dramatically different set pieces of 2 take us on a wild adventure making it the most <laughs> the most epic of the 3 James Randi has a would have you believe that back to the future 2 with its bells and whistles of a time travel heavy storyline was really the best and yet lacking in the plot development of the third can we see this comparison of uh yes <laughs> Nesh and Justin Robert Young. Have you seen this, Justin? Oh, I, I have, man. This is your cue, Justin, to lean forward, grab your locks, and say, Look at me! I'm your future! <laughs> uh, no, I've, I've said repeatedly that uh, Bryce and I have the same hair. Yes. Like, I, uh, the only difference is that Bryce is a, a, a young, beautiful man in his 20s and wants <laughs> to take care of himself, as I once did, and combs it. Uh, and I don't. So my hair just kind of bunches up in like a gigantic pile atop my head. Mm -hmm. And Bryce actually like uh, it does something to make it look presentable. Yeah. Man, I would like to see Bryce. With, uh, give us a clean palette. Look at the camera. And I want to see Bryce with Justin's hair and, and Justin's beard. A lot of people think Bryce looks like Justin. Now I say that Justin looks like Bryce. The government would have you say, uh, <laughs> James Hand. James oh Randy no no no! Has a million so, so, follicles. So, uh, yeah, a million follicles. Um, uh, no no no! In, in the wake of the the Paris massacres, yeah, there's this uh, this dude who happens to be a Sikh that has become this focal point of the gamer gamer great or sorry gamer gate uh, social. I forget what they call themselves, but the but, the, but those guys. Yeah yeah. Somebody got photoshopped into it by Gamer they photoshopped uh, they, they 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 took him proud of his ipad and then they photoshopped on a bomb vest and uh and 
uh, showed him holding a Quran, and he's not even a Muslim. He's a Sikh. <laughs> and so, and then they, they sent it around, and then they, they giggled all the way to the end of the rainbow uh, with their jolly... Um, and again, like, we, we need to, we are only part of the problem if we start saying they, right? Like, sure. Because it is them, not they, right? Like, like these people that did it very specifically, right. whatever usernames on Reddit that have been busted as it, like, as it, and like even Gamergate, right? Like for anybody, and, and I find the idea of, uh, it's, it's about ethics in journalism, uh, kind of bizarre having worked in journalism and understanding how weird and, and non consequential I find video game journalism mm -hmm. uh, as, as in terms of like the grand stakes that we need to hold people like, Hey, people reporting on like world affairs when you get sent to Syria, do you need to tell the truth? Yes. And if you don't tell the truth, you should be tarred and feathered for it. Uh, if you review an indie game, and give it a slightly better review because you happen to find uh, the person that did it uh, a nice person or shock and horror. A, 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 a female? Yeah. Like, um, then fine, whatever. Who gives a fuck, in my opinion? Now, I'm not much of a video gamer, although you can find me at twitch.tv slash... Uh, <laughs> Jerry Stone. Jerry Stone. But, like, even then... Like, we can't fall into the idea of them, that Gamergate did this, right? It's these people in Gamergate, like, in this one Reddit thread, did this. They're cunts. They deserve to be pilloried for it. And there's a reason why the internet is a permanent marker, and we can find their names and, 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 and destroy them. But Gamergate, like anything else, is a varied movement where some people might be legitimately really concerned about the ethics in game journalism and whatever. They can they can continue tilting at that windmill, in my personal opinion, until the cows come home. These people are terrible. So many people that that, that fight on that and uh, is is uh, are absolute bigots. But, you know, whatever. Most of the internet is. Oh, Andrew Mays. Andrew Mays just broke his BB glass. That was a limited edition. That was only available with the scam pack. Oh man! So he, you're saying that he can't get one? <sighs> Certainly not. If he wanted to get one, like in the next couple of days, he definitely couldn't order one. No, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say definitely for the next like 72 hours. If you want oh, any kind of luck. commemorative BB logo uh, glass, you're you're fucked. You're totally fucked, and there's Suck nothing you can do Mays. about it. Yeah. Suck a billion devil dongs. I mean, the, it seems like. Only a major new surprise release announcing this Friday that maybe has already been announced on Vessel. <laughs> <laughs> because that's a good way to run a business. <laughs> Thank you, Vessel. Yeah, no, but uh, he couldn't just go and get one. I mean, he could. I, I would recommend against it because it seems like there's a no, better no, it's way. Sold out. It's sold, it's sold out. out. It's it impossible to. You wanted to. Oh. 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 oh, man, I just I wonder I wonder if there'll ever be a solution to his problems in exactly four days, especially if he wanted to pay 250 percent. No, uh, a lot more than that. Uh, uh, well, no, right. if you wanted right, first to of all, get you're the, the, hey, fuck what? you, you're get, get off. You're the worst salesman. You're off the sales team. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> Jesus no, Christ. No, no. You get, I mean, listen. Yeah. Maybe this isn't for him. Maybe the idea of being empowered in every situation that he lives in is not appealing to Andrew Mays. Uh, Andrew I, Mays says, you want to know what? I want to feel disenfranchised and powerless in my own home. Can, 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 we, do, can we do an exclusive sneak preview? That's can, the way can, to live. Uh, oh, Oh, by the way, uh, uh, did, you didn't happen to make a cut that integrated the the upgrade. Okay, not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian, it's Tuesday. Uh, okay, I know it's Friday. <laughs> You're like, does it look like 20 minutes till Friday, Brian? <laughs> I haven't Trust even touched me. the I, ad yet. That's Come fine. On. That's fine. That's fine. Although, <laughs> by the way, for that for that sales job, uh, uh, Nashcom, you've been stripped of your B temporarily, and you are back. To <laughs> You're work. back to rice. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, here, let's just let's do it without audio. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Right now at scamstuff.com. Oh, I skipped too far. Ahead. No, that's great. That's perfect. Rogue. Oh, but we didn't stop there. Not only do we have Rogue's Taverns available right now, just in time for Christmas. Who knew? We also have two extra special editions. The first is the gold edition. Uh, this, this is a, this is all the bold. Whoa, look at that! That shit looks dope. With one so one many one amazing pie glasses. Two. Book test. Now keep in mind, these books are normally 400 bucks a piece just on their own. Shut up, this asshole! With your Rogue's Tavern, and you get a limited edition, very extra special double uh, big. Uh, here, is it double jump back. Let's jump back at your beauty gold shots because your beauty shots are fucking gorgorgeous. Awesome. The the the, 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 the light motion on them the and the the rack focus and all that stuff looks look so like. good. It would awesome. be a place where every single knickknack was exactly perfect for a scam school effect. The good news is, I want to open that bar and I want to open it at your house introducing the rogues tavern dude the rogues tavern is 20 pounds of awesome it's all of scam school in a single box it's a complete bar kit and hand selected items that are exactly perfect to pull off over 200 scam school effects we're talking about four exclusive pint glass designs two shot glasses both copies of the scam school books the arcana decks both alpha and omega and the marked 1800 style bicycle decks a complete kit of bar accoutrements acc accoutrements acc accoutrements Accoutrement. Including the bartender 10 in 1 awesome multi tool, plus all the hardest to find knickknacks to pull off specific scam school tricks, stuff like the friction pens or placebo bands. It's all in there. If you know anybody who loves Captain scam school, Fubard, this then is I'm afraid you're Captain awesome Fubard. Crammed into one single kit. And the best part is, each person who gets a rogue's tavern gets an individually numbered limited edition challenge coin. This shows me that you're a member of our virtual secret Dude. society. This lets me know that you're a fellow rogue. And as such, of course I'll buy you a drink. Also, you can make it for me because I'm in your kitchen. Turn around. I'm not really in your kitchen. This has been cool. insane. Dude, it's so uh, dude, uh, great product shots. I'm so Thank excited you. about it. Uh this is a uh, uh, spoiler alert between you and me. Uh this announces on Friday. It is the biggest bet we made all year. It is the most amount of money leveraged I've ever done. Um uh, I mean like people are saying like this is a bargain at like $600. Well, I mean, we were thinking more like 800, you know, for how limited the run is. I mean, I guess we could, we can go down to 6. I mean, like 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 I mean, like again, a bargain at 6. I mean, like yes, retail's 8, right? A bargain at 6. Friend price. Yeah, I don't know. I it seems it seems like if we if if I personally Hand uh, uh, stamped each of you know uh, uh, brand brand. Thank you. I was thinking, I was gonna say hand sizzled. Uh, <laughs> if I hand sizzled each of those, <laughs> it's actually it's actually rand. It's rand. <laughs> Save all the bees. If, 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 if you rand palled every, <laughs> yeah. No. If if I if I uh, fuzzied oh, up dude. and had Brillo pad hair and then uh, and was a pale shadow of my father. I don't know <laughs> why we don't find that connect. <laughs> uh, then maybe we could carve out another hundred dollar, get it down below five hundred, maybe. Uh... Oh, I mean, at that point, I mean, you got to be at a loss. I mean, like, come on, like under five hundred dollars. Well, oh, oh, okay, maybe, maybe if I had a logistics uh, <clears throat> take two, I said logistics, uh, yeah. logistics okay. genius. <laughs> Uh, lodged dicks in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man, uh, it, it seems if, if we had a logistics genius like uh, John Tilton, who really, Wait, really like was... Who fucked up the setup of the New Year's Eve show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns out he's really good at playing logistics tycoon. Uh, and it turns out he's really real good... Quick, real quick, man, go see. Uh... John Tilton wasn't great at being a road assistant. Like, no. fair fact. Here's the deal. Uh, turns out uh, you can't uh, take a, uh, a, a, a an x-ray from your dentist machine and say, yeah, I'm going to use that as a screwdriver. If you're like, oh, God, I keep trying to turn it on, but people got to wear vests of lead and everything. Like, it's super weird. And then you're like, oh, wait. Uh, he's a higher-end machine that does uh, an amazing, better thing. Dude, uh, no joke. Uh, the best roadie I ever had was Chad. Um, he was so meticulous and focused and right down to the thing. Uh, and Captain MG. <laughs> What's that? No, oh, Captain MG was great for his own reasons. He was he was the great great the best buddy I had on the road. Like that was a great 
adventure that I spent with like a high school roommate. Um, but, uh, but, but like Chad was, was very focused and very meticulous and always nailed everything. Oh, no, John, no, no. you had somebody the same name of the Twitch superstar. OMG Chad. <laughs> yeah, no, it was actually OMG Chad. It was the what? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, OMG no. Chad. Uh, yeah, no, the Chad from fancy Fridays from fancy Fridays. What? I tell you what, uh, but my point is, my point is, <laughs> Is that it was funny because I spent, you know, from Chad, I went to John and John a year after a year into touring on the road, doing two to three shows a week. He was still setting up the knife table sideways like wrong. <laughs> and I was just like, and I was just like, your these are not your get. And then and then we figured out what John's hit the button and make it a screwdriver. <laughs> Why won't it be a screwdriver? <laughs> and then it turns out it's an elegantly refined x-ray machine, and this is what he was meant to be doing. He's a logistics wizard. Same thing, same with same thing with Brant. Like Brant was really good on the road, but you could tell it wasn't his bag. Like like he'd rather be doing something else, like, I don't know, producing and editing scam school episodes. Amazing actor and a director <laughs> and editor and, and, and just like dominating. Yeah. So I would, I would like, like to think uh, 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 Bryce was able to come in when Brian realized that everyone didn't need to be a bellhop. <laughs> yes, exactly. I was about to say, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. You are the first to skip the audition process of spending a year <laughs> lugging my shit around before we got around to, to jumping forward. All right. So you, you're saying, okay, so it would be under 500 Oh, well he under. Add a, a, a logistics wizard. I, I mean, yes, we might be able to get it under 400 if Whoa. we hand assembled them all right here within a mile of my house. Okay. Might be able to get it under. Wait, hold on. So you're saying $399 if you did it right outside your house? I, I think we could get it down to 300 if if I helped and Bonnie helped and the kids helped and we all put the challenge coins in bags. Yeah. And then, and I hand branded everything, and uh, you know what? I think we could go a little bit lower. I think we can launch three fifty. No, I think no. we can launch what? at like two forty nine. Shut your goddamn mouth! I will use the n word if you offer this at this at that price. Uh, okay, you know what? I won't. In fact, that'll be the official price, but we'll launch for a limited time. For what? One no. I will say the n word right now. One ninety nine. See the n word. One ninety nine. Now, if you offered, I swear to God, one ninety nine, you your family's life at risk. Mm -hmm. If you offer this lower than with the price you've said, I will use the N word. <laughs> one ninety nine, Ma Nino, <laughs> Ma Nino. Oh my God! What the fuck? I need a beard swap to go with it. I love Klingon Justin. <laughs> Click on Justin is so good. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, Bryce. Like, like, uh, especially seeing the hair swap, it brings the eyebrows out into yep. more focus. Mm -hmm. Like, like you might think that you have thick eyebrows, homeboy. You ain't got the pro pack. No. <laughs> You ain't got, you ain't rocking these caterpillars. Yeah, no, that's oh, that's partly why I keep the hair long. Is uh, kind of the the that's, I, those juniors, and juniors, the, the lazy baby. eye and the the ears. Just you know, <laughs> what? Just no hair, no face. Yeah, you don't have a I'm lazy gonna be eye. Of, what is that? A little bit. Wait, do you? A very little. Man, um, I I, I, so. I never would have seen that. Oh what? I'm gonna look for it. Uh, a, a very a minor lazy eye. Uh, by the way, uh, oh, uh, well, I totally have that. Yeah, you, you always see that in, in in photos. I got I got one that like oh no actually no it's not a, a lazy eye it's a droopy eye. I always have one eye slightly more closed mm. than the other at all times. Yeah. Bonnie noticed that her she probably don't want me saying this but you know she's blind in one eye which means that uh, when she needs to see stuff she doesn't bother to squint the eye that she's blind in. She she kind of does a wink squint which means ever so slightly one of her sides has a little more character lines. Because she, she, because yeah. when she's trying to look, you know, she, you know, we squint both eyes, but she squints one. Yeah. Eye. Uh, by the way, people are asking about the Bell's palsy. Uh, I, I, I do think it was Bell's palsy. It was like three weeks of numbness. Uh, it, it mm. got much better this after the first week, 
but even now, it's ever so slightly, you'll notice that everything is not entirely even. That's not true. Everything is so even. <laughs> Jesus. Originally, I thought my face was melted, that I would be a pariah, alone in a basement, podcasting about a guy who's going to be stuck in prison. Then something happened that I never thought would occur. I got Bell's palsy. But was it? This is a thing about Brian's face. <laughs> hey, yo. Say, like, you know, I mean, like, I, I was, I was just trying to, uh, I woke up and I was like, yo, man, it's just like my face. I, I, I'm just trying to be real here. <laughs> You know, I told him, man, I wasn't a doctor, but I'd look at it, and then I'd grab him on the face, and I'd touch him there, and he was like, now you're going to jail. Oh, by the way, can I make it a prediction? Yeah. So the worst kept secret in podcasting is that Serial's going to launch on uh, uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Ooh. I had uh, not heard that. that uh, I'm going to go ahead and predict that uh, we have a True Detective Season 2 level backlash. Oh, <laughs> Where where just nothing they do is good enough, and everyone's gonna hate on on it. Uh, well, all the sins of the first season are basically going to be revisited. Like the idea that like before everybody didn't know what was coming, so they just like enjoyed the ride, and then when it was an anticlimax, they were like, "Well, okay, I guess it was an anticlimax." Now when they're like. Oh, question, 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 question. We're not getting anywhere. We're not getting anywhere. We're not getting anywhere. You're like, ah, oh, what is it with this show and never getting anywhere? What's that? Yeah. No, basically, Sun Glow just hit it. Everyone's going to be, it's season two. Cool cool story, bro. <laughs> yeah. I uh, Speaking of True Detective, I just saw that HBO literally doesn't know if they're going to do season three. Like, a, they, know, a, they have a deal with Nick. Pizza rolls. Pizza yeah, rolls. pizza rolls. Yeah, uh, pizza rolls for yeah. like 2018. But season three? Huh? That that would be a real bummer because I feel like, uh, man, season two was a victim of its own ambition. Where it's mm -hmm. like, you had if you cut out any two of those characters, it would have been an yeah. amazing show. Um, but you had four central characters instead. <laughs> How about this? If you ain't got Matthew McConaughey reading your gobbledygook then uh, maybe the show suffers. Maybe when you don't have, like, an A-list, like... No, like, I, I, I disagree. I would have watched an entire season of just Vince Vaughn versus uh, Colin Farrell. I, I would have been fine with that. I mean, wait, yes. I say Colin Farrell. Wait, is his name Colin Farrell or... Yeah. Colin? Okay. You got it, you got it. Oh, wait, who's the, who's the guy that was on remote control in the 1980s? Colin... Uh, Colin Quinn. Colin Quinn, okay, good. <laughs> For a second, I thought I said Colin Quinn. Wait, on Remote Control, the dance group? No, Remote Control with uh, Not Remote Control, the dance group who never showed up to Orlando for their 2011 gig um, <laughs> because they were smart. Uh, it was Remote Control, the television show. Oh, yeah. Can we can we talk about uh, the the uh, Mystery Science Theater Hour Kickstarter? Who oh boy, yeah, can we? So, did they fund? Oh yeah, two million. Um. Is this the biggest, like, uh, like so this asteroid split into so many different parts, right? Mystery Science Theater 3000, yeah. Yes. So, like, the show that is beloved and turned out to be a prescient premise, right? The idea of making fun of things, uh, you know, a, on TV is maybe the worst version of it, right? Like, the MP3 model for, like, Cinema Titanica and... Uh, and uh, what riff tracks, it. yeah. Riff tracks, like, is way better, right? Like that, like, oh, you can do it for anything. You can do it for other movies. You can do it for big movies. Super rad. Uh, isn't it kind of weird that they're launching a Kickstarter and didn't bring, like, kind of anyone back from, like, like the the, the franchises that have been so gigantic? No, well, the whole point was that they wanted to bring in a new cast. I mean, plus also, like, Joel has... Uh, Everything's been in limbo because the producer who owned the right has been squatting on it and refused to sell to anyone. And apparently, like, last week, they hit, you know, some kind of uh, agreement, 
And you'll notice that days, literally like four days before this Kickstarter launched, suddenly Rift Tracks is selling full episodes of Mystery Science Theater 3000 from the, uh, uh, who's the other guy? There's Joel and, uh, Joel and the other one, uh, from the other one's era. And, uh, and so, um, oh, Mike, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and so now, I mean, this is just Joel's, uh, attempt to cash in on the same rights that they finally acquired after 20 years of bullshit. But I, I think the idea was when, when we look at this pet cemetery, right. You know, how excited would we be about like, uh, uh, with, Bob and David with none of the other original cast members. I mean, look, if you're writing a prescription for how to make people happy on fulfillment, then yeah, bring in the whole cast. If you're writing a prescription for how to get fucking rich on work you did 20 years ago, I, I wouldn't bother to involve any statement about old cast or whatever. Uh, 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 who knows how rich they're getting, even at $2 million funding. Right? Sure, like, sure, sure, sure. But like... I guess, like, my, my thought is, like, yes, I, I don't blame them for doing it, right? This is not me saying, like, fuck them. You shouldn't do it unless you have the original cast. But if I am them... <laughs> <laughs> this me. is not me. I'm not claiming that I'm about to give away a 2012 Kia Soul. But if I was... <laughs> Here's how I would rig it. It's like, that was the first thought I had. Was that the first thought that you had when 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 looking at that? It's like, oh, they're bringing MST3K back. I'm like, red uh, is the original cast, like, or the cast that has gone on to do this professionally involved. And that was like my first question looking at it. And I, I don't think that I'm alone in that. Uh, yeah, you, you probably represent the majority. I I was aware that you know there had been this kind of split, and that some groups were doing riff tracks and so on. And uh, and to me, the first thing I went was straight to the you know what's the vig, and um, but listen, I mean like yes, I I, I I knew that there was an issue. I knew that there was like split things and hurt feelings and everything. But hell, man, like they're gonna announce a Guns and Roses reunion, like you know. Like, if that shit can happen, what the fuck's up with MST3K? I want you to know, I just exercised a lot of self-control and not going to the end of Don't Cry. And don't you cry. Don't, don't, don't you tempt me. We got to pick a show it's title. Even above you, you, you know, okay. Justin, uh, we got to call it Win a 2012 Kia Soul, right? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. You could win a 2012 uh, Kia Soul. Uh, I, would lose, I would lose you could and just say win a 2012 Kia Soul. Oh no! I think that 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 that, that you could is the call to action. <laughs> all right, if that all fits, that's fine. <laughs> all righty, you could win. A 2012 KSL has been chosen. Uh, oh wait, is is the Guns and Roses thing bullshit? What do you mean? Apparently, the, the rumors were that there was a forthcoming announcement that uh that original Guns and Roses. It, it turns out that's the serial episode. I had heard Guns N' Roses wait, wait, would wait, be wait, getting wait. back. In 1990, there wasn't many popular albums bigger than Use Your Illusion 1. Unless it was Use Your Illusion 2. I'm Sarah Koenig, and I heard a rumor that Guns N' Roses would be getting back together. Now everyone would want it, but I asked myself, why? A lot of chicken after uh, everything had gotten done. I ate so much chicken, I got so fat that I had a dude named Buckethead pretend to be Slash. I'm really fat now, where I used to be super skinny. My name's Axel Rose. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't think of a name for myself, so I just said, oh, Slash. I wear this hat and glasses. Play the guitar. Oh, can't get. <laughs> that beer. <laughs> Male kite? <laughs> uh, would you go see uh, uh, Guns N' Roses? Uh, Fuck yeah, concert? dude! I saw I saw Slash perform live with his uh, solo band Slash's Snake Pit at E3 uh, back in nineteen ninety five six five. Like I feel like that would kind of be a recipe for disaster, right? Like because like. Uh, Axl Rose, uh, even when he was touring with the new Guns N' Roses, uh, had been like, you know, th there were there were reports. <laughs> 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 
hold up, pause. I would like to point out that as if, as if like his pain is not truly being felt, <laughs> shouting in the chat room is Andrew Mays going, glass everywhere, Schwood. It's just glass everywhere. Your, your cup broke on my floor, and I need a new one. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we're back to the shattered. I had no idea what you were talking about. <laughs> That's what I loved about it is I was 20 minutes too late. Uh, all right. Uh, we have an update, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Our forensic scientists oh, have decided that this is, <laughs> is Bryce's future. Why didn't they just swap our faces? <laughs> I, uh, yeah. You guys look exactly the goddamn same. You're the same fucking person. <laughs> It's not a bad look, though, Bryce. I mean, <laughs> you, could pull, you could pull that off. You could pull that hair off. Embrace <laughs> your – I mean, like, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. yeah, this, this is a very important question. Mm -hmm. Bryce, are, are, are you the same kind of, like, teen wolf uh, 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 facial hair no, growth person? No, no. I'm I, – He's bald wolf. Very patchy. Uh, if he's he's, he's air wolf. Seen, if you've seen one specific episode of Scam School uh, that uh, is – damning what what is it oh uh, we it, it was uh we shot it right when i moved to town at the jackalope at no at uh handlebar okay uh and i was i was still in my i i have no job and and and, and, and you could afford to grow I, some scruff fucking grow whatever <laughs> 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 and it, it didn't it, it it didn't help that i was like one of the the people who was talking a little bit more on that episode. Oh, you were uh, out front. Yeah, and so the patch. Just, it's, I get a patch. Woman, I get patches right in my dimples. I have dimples. So you have faux dimples. Have patches. Oh yeah. No no no, no 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 dimples here. Listen, we're we're gonna list all the reasons why I'm not <laughs> Rice Castillo. <laughs> The Kia Soul Patch is giving me my The power. Kia Soul Patch! Am I not <laughs> No, that's just a... Uh, no, I haven't shaved today. Right. <laughs> By the way, my favorite of all the responses to uh, to uh, Justin Gate uh, 2015... <laughs> yes, Justin Robert Young. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite response was uh, somebody points out like, Hey, here's Bryce, here's Justin. Whoa, crazy. Or, or no, no, no. It was... Somebody said uh, the entire interview was uh, is it was I think it was BioCal uh, saying the entire interview was just to give him Brian crap about his hair. Meanwhile, he gets away with this and he shows the picture. And yeah. uh, and then <laughs> the next thing I see in my timeline is Anthony Carboni, all caps, just shouting soul patch, soul patch, soul patch, soul patch, soul patch. Uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I retweeted that and I got I got uh, that reaction from uh, from Mr. Uh, Carboni. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I did a whole thing on, on Cherry about this. This is a very, very important lesson for anybody. Because all we do, Brian, every time you go to a Dragon Con, mm. it's like once a week in your email inbox, and that is at the, the bare minimum, you get the question, I have a podcast, what should I do? Right? And the answer is always the same. Wear a soul patch, book Brian Brushwood. I mean, there we go. <laughs> Five years later, you'll be independent. <laughs> Living proof, baby. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, like, like, like this is this was a huge thing. I lived in a warehouse, effectively, because I spent more time there than I did my house. Uh, and I decided to make some questionable facial hair choices. <laughs> well, because and, you could. Because you could. And also... Well, yeah. Because who the fuck was going to see me? I, I I was alone in a warehouse. I lived alone in a warehouse. <laughs> and I was uh, doing internet shit that nobody gave a shit about. Just as soon, like, uh, I'm sure everybody else in here as that far does as their own you podcast knew. says, I do some shit on the internet that nobody gives a fuck about, nobody watches. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? Every once in a while, you eventually do some shit that people do care about. And at that point, they go back and they find your shitty facial hair <laughs> and they put it up on Twitter and Anthony Carboni makes fun of you. Lesson learned! That's how you know you made it! Next thing you know, we'll see Justin dancing on Dance Showdown. Did you hear my? I, I did have a funny joke about your hips, your hip movements. It's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. Lay did you it on hear me. That? No, I was peeing. Said that that your hips, you were moving your hips like uh, cell phone vibrates, 
that I'm sure it's moving from left to right, but it's just invisible. It's Mike. invisible to the naked eye. Yeah. But here, let me let me re- remedy that. <clears throat> Damn. Damn, look at that dick. What you gonna do with all that dick? All that butt in a mic. I'm fucking mic that shit all night. All night, all night, all night. Uh huh. <laughs> Dude, now I have Sarah Lane's microphone. Great. That's amazing. Everybody should gift that. That should be a vibe. Just Jesus. try and fucking shake his dick endlessly. Mm. In fact, someone send that to me, and I'm just going to loop that on by. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, pooper. Um, <sighs> Sarah Lane's laid up. She fucked up her uh, her leg there. Oh, no. What? What? Yeah. She's just, uh, yeah, she rocks too hard. <laughs> Here she is eating a I was kitten. I was trying to see if she had posted a the photo yeah, about yeah, it, but go she, go she, yeah, she, yeah, eat your soul. Instagram. She's got a a, a fucking leg brace pic on her Instagram? Instagram. Oh okay. On the gram, <laughs> Carl says she was dick shaking with the sad piano music. <laughs> uh, hey Brian. Yo. The uh, one of these days when we do a non uh, fucking awesome episode of Night Attack, it's gonna be really depressing. Uh, you know what? I don't know that the day will ever come. All the all the quality warming deniers out there. Hold on. I think I just, uh, sorry, hold on, take it back. <clears throat> Neil deGrasse Tyson keeps promising our show's going to suck someday. He says all the signs are there. Some people think that soon Brian and Justin will die in a fire. And, that, and yet I think we'll see them next Tuesday. Wait, wait, wait. Keep throwing the interviews. Okay. Uh, interviews. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson thinks that Brian and Justin are on a dangerous course headed towards bad shows in the future. I think it's inevitable. <laughs> James Randi says he'll give a million dollars to anyone who can prove Brian and Justin don't exist. It, it's preposterous to think otherwise. <laughs> Magician Lance Burton is doing magic with dubs right now. And right here. <laughs> I even asked I even asked rapper MC Allergy whether she'd ever go back on the Brian and Justin show. Call 911. <laughs> Hillary Clinton says that their kind of talk should be banned. I'm not a fan. (laughs) (laughs) Broke! Broke by the Hillary Clinton! I crush you with the Hillary Clinton! I was giving you I was giving you the the, the smirk and smile that said that you finally fell into my trap. (laughs) Oh fuck! Oh I fucked it up! I fucked it up! Oh shit, man! Ugh. All right, I feel like that's uh, that's that that that's it for today. It's about as good as it gets. Uh, the only thing, uh, and this is really up to you, Bryce, if you want to do it. But I'll, I, okay. I, I will. If you want to see, we could, we could play like twenty minutes of Fallout, and then oh, you could catch the, my the awesome neon, neon tree bug. Okay, let's let's when end this. We'll yeah. start another. We'll start another thing in a minute. Okay. All right. And then we'll do we'll we'll, we'll check out unless right. you want to join. I mean, unless you want to see some pink trees. No, I got I got things to do, yeah. and I'm okay. gonna actually play Fallout because now I play video games. Oh! There's there's a dog in my apartment. A dog literally just walked in here. Wait, you got a dog? You have a dog? Got a puppy! Hey! For so it was foreseen. Literally just walking around in our apartment because they came in from the neighbors. Anyway. All right. All right. Uh, so long, jerks. We hardly loved ye enough because you deserve more love than we can ever give. Also, come back next New Year's Eve and get a 2012 Kia Soul patch. It's on Justin's face. Back in 2007. Shit, y'all.